Well, it's always a delight to follow Italian football. Martin Tyler here with you again. Alan Smith is with me again. And we have Calcio, our football for you. Lazio in our game today against Milan. All eyes really on Milan. Well, there's no doubt they have got time to get their season back on track, but what we've seen so far from them, I'm not sure they can actually achieve that. Mid-table and not what they were wanting. Lazio and their lineup for you now. Federico Marchetti starts in goal. Dusan Basta plays with Stefan Radu as the fullbacks. Marco Parolo plays alongside Lucas Biglia in the middle of the park. In attack, Chiro Immobile starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. This is the Milan lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Ignacio Abate starts with Mattia Vichilio in the fullback positions. De Lefeu plays with Suso in the wide positions. Carlos Bacca is the main striker today. An Olympic Stadium here in Rome, rightly called an Olympic Stadium. It had an Olympics here in 1960. Of course, it's not changed too much since then. No, it's one of those stadiums quite hard to get into. They put a ring of steel around it, but uh, they've had some great games. Remember visiting here for Italia 90 as a supporter. Here is Gianluca Del Tarano. <laughs> Signal from the referee, and off we go. Marco Parolo. There's some potential in this move. Nicely played through ball. Deflected behind, a clear corner. <laughs> Crisp defending there. He's got his shot off now. A poor shot, really, in the circumstances. Pasolic. On to the attack now. Shots on here. Keeper refusing to be overpowered here. What a shot. Milan have a corner. And he goes for goal with his head. Super stopped by the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball as well. Pasolic. And it's Milan trying to attack now. De Lefeo! Very good stop here. It's a corner for Milan. Marco Parolo. Good, strong tackle. Strong, fair challenge. Balls out for a throw, though. Bilia. 
Giro Immobile. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And he can take possession in his own half. Through pass. Going to try his luck. Over the bar and the chance is gone. De La Feu. good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. To put them in front. Here comes the cross. He's better usually at crossing than that. It was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. De La Feu. It's out, this will be a throw. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. Could be dangerous. Gone for the through pass. And the slide tackle very successfully done. now for the pass there's the ball in and now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack spotted that well and intercepted crisp defending there Milan are attacking now well that looked promising but he's been stopped Radu Stefan Radu. Marco Parolo. Into the attacking third. They cope with it well defensively. On the front foot now, they've got a corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. minutes from the referee by the fourth official that's the decision regarding added time he's coming forward with some danger Immobile take the chip so it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal You do feel, Alan, as we reach half-time, that both sides have got a bit more to offer than we've seen in this first half, because it hasn't taken us too far so far. No, it's been a little bit cat and mouse as they were working each other out, so in the next 45, things might open up a bit. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. De La Feu. Abate. Well, they're in a good position here. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Defender to it first. Gonna try one now. And they're desperate to try and change this game. It's been level and now they're pushing on, looking for the goal that will take them in front.
that passing is top class. And now the shot. And they blocked it then. And now a throw in. Pashalic. It's good play until they got that challenge in. On to the attack now. In quickly. Milan, the team penalised. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. And it's been an hour of very... And the goalkeeper, it's hit four. Free kick for Milan. Well, there was that attempt, Alan. Let's look back on it now. Yeah, he won't want to see this one too many times because he really should have scored from that distance. Oh, his teammates will thank him for that. Well, good through ball to put them in front. Terrific stop. And it's Milan trying to attack now. Shots on here. Well, they have taken the lead. A goal from backup. And the way he's guided that into the left-hand side of the goal. It's wonderful technique. Had to wait a while to get the first goal of the game. He sensed it was coming, it's finally arrived. Still 20 minutes to go. Bilia gets his foot in there. Tremendous understanding from these players. Immobile! And it's going to be his throw here. And here we're going to have a substitution and it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. Into the attacking third. They cope with it well defensively. It's Backer. The break is definitely on. It's a real opening here. Shot on. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be... A dangerous one, we'll see. They've made it look very easy, Alan. It isn't always as easy as this. You say two should always score against the one goalkeeper, but nobody panicked. No, nobody did. I think they realised they had time. They realised they'd broken through, and it was two against one. And uh, they made it count. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And 
And in he goes with the tackle. Quick change of possession here. The home team about to make a change. He's coming for... Well, that was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. The manager won't be too happy with that. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. <laughs> the shot's on! The referee's given them a free kick. In a real position of some danger to the opposition. Well, we don't like to see that in the game. It may be just mistiming, but it looked a bit malicious to me. Well, it did, and the lad he tackled, he looks OK, but, I mean, it was a potential leg break of that, and the kind of challenge you just do not want to see in the game. And it's the free kick now, over the bar, and the chance is gone. Well, you could see what he was trying to do, and he's just, just too high. Yeah, maybe just leaning back, and uh, that was the downfall in that. Milan are attacking now. Came in with a challenge. Ignazio Abate. Defender to it first. Ignazio Abate. Baka! No, no, no! Well, the defenders could only watch and pray because they'd been left for dead. But he just couldn't finish it. Going to play an extra five minutes of added time. There's some potential in this move. Basta! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Shots on here. Well, that is a fantastic save from this goalkeeper. He's in wonderful form. He's enjoying that kind of season. He's a contender for. Player of the year. And that is the full time whistle, and it's victory for Milan. This will go down as one of the great wins through these extraordinary circumstances. Yeah, and they might suffer with suspensions in the forthcoming games, but they won't care about that at the moment. It's a terrific win. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.